I've seen several Asian American characters on screen and on TV, but most of them are really disappointing because they always were developed through some notions of what Asian people are by non-Asian people, and that's really frustrating. My name is Benson Lee, and I'm a director, producer, writer of indie films as well as a studio film. My parents left Seoul, Korea in the late 60s, and they emigrated to Canada. And they ended up in Toronto, which is where I was born. When I was about nine years old, my dad decided to move out of Toronto to move to the United States. Uh, I spent my teen years uh, outside of Philadelphia. I was one of the very few Asians in my school. As I got older, my parents were a little concerned because um, I didn't have a lot of access to Korean culture except my parents, which of course I rebelled against when I was growing up. So they decided in the summer of 1986, when I was 16, that they would send me to Korea to attend this special summer heritage camp. And I didn't want to go because, you know, that was the last place I thought of going because I wanted to go to the Jersey Shore. I went and it was a pretty mind-blowing experience because although they all had Korean faces, but they were sort of like their own ambassadors of their country and we were very different culturally. So that summer was really about exploring this identity that uh, our parents taught us, but we never had a real context for. I wanted to make a teen film that actually respected teens' emotions and that explored the issues that a lot of teenagers go through. You know, in the world of a teen, when you're growing up, it's so turbulent and you feel sometimes so isolated. And I think that's a very dramatic period in a person's life. I grew up in the 80s, I went to high school in the 80s, and I was very much influenced by that era. Uh, the challenge of making films in different eras is that you have to design around that, not only from the physical location, but also the costumes. Luckily, I was able to work with a phenomenal costume designer named Shirley Carrada, who also came of age in the 80s, and she totally understood what I was looking for. It's kind of hard to find 80s clothes, so we had to do a lot of costume rentals. We had to reach out to old clothing manufacturers that don't even exist anymore and tap into their private collection. That was actually one of the processes that was the most fun for us because, you know, there's nothing like bringing to life an era. Um, it's, it's very magical. When it came to casting our film, I decided to do something slightly different. There aren't that many Asian American actors who are in high school. If it was any other group like African American or, or Caucasians, you'd have such a larger pool to choose from. So I decided to do an open casting call on Facebook. I allowed anyone to audition for any of the characters that we were trying to cast. And all they had to do was memorize the script, film it and upload it on YouTube and send us the link. We ended up getting hundreds and hundreds of submissions. But the one thing that blew my mind was how good people were. I actually thought that it'd be a very small percentage of people, but it was almost like 50% of the submissions were really impressive. And those 50% were primarily made of non-actors. I found several members of my cast via this process who blew my mind. One of them in particular, her name is Rosalina Lee. She's from Canada. The moment I saw her video, I was just like, my God, this girl is so compelling and she is this character. It was funny because I was like, you know, can you come to the in-person audition in New York? And she's like 18. And she's like, yeah, I think so. And I was like, well, how are you going to come? She goes, I'll get, hop on like a bus. I was like, a bus? Do you know how long that's going to take? That's like 13, 14 hours. She said, that's okay. And I was like, well, then where are you going to stay? And she goes, oh, well, after the audition, I'll just get back on the bus and go home. <laughs> and I was like, Rose, I think you better talk to your mother about this. And she came into the audition. I gave her the hardest part. Just from one reading, I gave her the role right away. Making something with an all Asian cast was really important to me because I, I fell in love with movies from a very young age and it was very hard to find stories I could relate to. For some reason, Asians in the canon of film and television have, haven't yet figured out their identity and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we haven't been in the position to create our own characters. But that is changing rapidly right now and I'm very excited about the future in terms of seeing more positive, more authentic, genuine Asian characters. 
both in film and television. But it's more exciting to me because there's people in the driver's seat who are Asian, who are concerned with the portrayal of Asian American characters and making them genuine and not just stereotypes. 